Hi there. For a lot of folks who are into collecting cast iron cookware, pieces made here in the USA always take center stage and they're usually the item of choice for collectors. However, there's one cast iron maker here in the USA who always seems to be left behind by collectors. And for that reason, I'd like to take a little time and look at the John Wright Company of Pennsylvania, the maker of these cast iron baking molds. The John Wright Company was founded in 1947 and they've been based in Pennsylvania for their entire history. The company was named after John Wright who lived in the 1700s. He was a Quaker who preached to the local Indian population and he was one of the founders of Lancaster County. They acquired a local hardware business that had been in existence since 1880 and so they're actually as old as the more famous vintage cast iron manufacturers. However, they've mostly been a maker of hardware, souvenirs, and gifts. In the 1980s, they decided to start producing cast iron baking molds as part of their line, and during this time they produced quite a few of these with very elaborate and attractive designs. Most of these baking molds have a very distinct handle shape, which makes them very easy to identify, though a few of them did not have this handle, and they can be harder to spot. The John Wright Company also made a small number of cast iron skillets and even an enameled pan, but these are very rare and hard to find. They made quite a lot of these baking molds and maybe even too many because apparently they didn't sell very well. They stopped producing these baking molds by the 1990s and yet today, 30 to 40 years later, the company still sells a few of them on their website. John Wright baking molds can be found all over the place and on eBay. While some antique sellers try to stick a high price on these cast iron pieces, most of them can be found at prices that are quite affordable. And because of this, many cast iron collectors have a few pieces from John Wright in their possession. One of the most popular websites for research, the Cast Iron Collector, doesn't have a high opinion of John Wright, and they have them in the same category as Asian-made cast iron with no real collector value. But people who own John Wright pieces and use them are almost never disappointed, and even though not many people go out of their way to acquire a large number of these pieces, you're certain to enjoy one or more of these pieces if you find them at an affordable price. At this time, I have three pieces from John Wright, including their cast iron gingerbread house mold. I found it was very easy to make the pieces to a gingerbread house, though my first attempt at actually building one was less than successful. However, I also have another John Wright piece, and I managed to score this alphabet cookie mold at a local flea market for only $5. <laughs> I found a very good recipe for uh, cookie dough on a website called Bigger Boulder Baking, and I'm glad to be able to use this baking mold to make cookies for my godson. This recipe isn't just shortbread cookies, but rather it's a homemade version of Biscoff cookies, which are very fancy and very delicious. The cookies turned out to be much more crisp and crunchy than typical shortbread cookies, and I found this very appealing for that reason. The dough was also very easy to put together, as it was no more than mixing flour, butter, sugar, and spices together, and kneading them into a dough. It's important to whisk the dry ingredients, because this helps to incorporate air into the dough. After this, we get out a mixing bowl and add butter, brown sugar, and white sugar. Then we cream them together and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. From here we add the dry ingredients a little at a time and mix it all together. It only took about a couple of minutes of mixing for it to become a solid dough. I was surprised at how fast it was ready. It's nice and fluffy. Mmm, it is. 
didn't take a lot of mixing either. No. All right, now we wrap it. And now we chill, dude. And now we get to bring out our cast iron cookie mold. And we simply unwrap the dough and grease the mold. The dough was much more dry and crumbly than typical cookie dough, and it took a while to knead it together into a solid dough. I've had good luck using margarine to grease my baking pans because margarine is mostly vegetable oil. Simply cover the entire surface and press the dough into the pan. However, once the cookie mold was greased for baking, the dough was still very easy to shape into the mold. It held together well, and it was only a matter of pressing the dough firmly into the mold. We use a scraper to remove the extra cookie dough from the top and press down the rest of the dough. Then, we use a fork to poke holes in the dough. This is so the dough will come together as it rises, and it will actually be more firm and crisp. It's okay to poke the fork all the way to the bottom because the holes will be closed up when the dough bakes. The recipe says to bake the cookies for 15 minutes, but I found this had to bake for 20 to 25 minutes because the thick cast iron mold took a little more time to heat up in the oven and bake the cookies. Once the cookies came out, we let them cool for 20 minutes. Then we use a knife and carefully remove them from the pan. Only one of these letters broke when removed from the pan, so I'd call that a success. I let the cookies set for a few hours so they would dry out. And the result was a batch of cookies that were crisp, crunchy, and delicious. I feel like I'm in kindergarten. U V And ready at last is a batch of cookies baked in a cast iron cookie pan. So if you come across a piece from John Wright and it's something that appeals to you, go ahead and grab it and have some fun baking in cast iron. And once you've started using these pieces for making cookies or brownies or even cornbread, you may find yourself keeping an eye out for another of these cast iron pieces and then another. It's as though baking can be an addiction in itself, and once you find out how easy and how fun it is to bake with cast iron, you may end up like me and have your very own baking problem. So have fun baking, and thank you for watching.